Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about what to do if you are thinking about giving money to someone to take care of someone else. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you have any questions related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can go to estatemeeting.com. Okay, today's topic is something that I hear every once in a while from potential clients. I don't let my actual clients do this, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a public service announcement, a little bit of a free advice, um, something to think about if you are considering doing this. The classic scenario where this happens is, you know, you've got, let's say you've got some, you've got uh, young kids and, or you've got nieces and nephews, you've got somebody that you want to give some assets to and they're young. And so you think to yourself, well, I will just give them to someone else and they can hold those assets and then use them to take care of whoever it is you want to take care of. Perfect example would be, I've got nieces and nephews, I'm going to give this money to my parents or to my brother and sister and then they'll hold the money for their kids, okay? Classic scenario. What people often don't consider is when you do that, once the money goes to that person, to that, to that other person that you're going to give it to, it becomes their money. And whether or not you trust them 100%, events can happen that are out of your control and out of their control that can completely bypass what you were trying to do. I'll give you a perfect example because this happened to a client that I have right now. So um, let's say I've got a nephew and I wanna give them some money, but they're young. And I don't wanna just give it, to, give it to them outright because I'm worried that they're just gonna blow it. I want it to be used for school and you know I don't want to get too complicated so I'm just going to give it to uh, to you know my mom their grandma to take care of for them she's healthy she's good so then I die unexpectedly and this money goes to my mom for my nephew okay hopefully you guys are following this and uh, and that, that that transfer is made and then shortly thereafter my mom unexpectedly dies and she gives everything to someone else, to charity, for example, who knows? All that money that I've earmarked for my nephew is now going to charity. And there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing sinister that's happened. There's nothing untoward that's happened, but that's just the progression of those assets um, utilizing the means that you put in place to do that, okay? That's why it's a bad idea to just give money to someone else to hold to use for someone else. Okay, again, hopefully that makes sense. The solution here is simple. It's simpler than you think. The, the solution is a revocable living trust. It sounds complicated. Um, some people are scared of them, but the, but the fact is they're relatively easy to put together. They are super easy to maintain. They are super easy to update. And when you are gone, they will do exactly what you want. So in this scenario, this scenario that I just gave, what you could do is you could create a trust, your own trust even, make um, your ma grandma, basically, the successor trustee to step in and oversee and, and, over and manage this money for the nephew. But here's the kicker. If grandma dies a quick death or, or an unexpected death or whatever, then all that happens is a different person steps in to then continue to manage those assets for that nephew, okay? So you don't have the opportunity to have that money leave the space and go to a place that you don't want it to go. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but this is a common theme. This is a common thought for people. Oh, it, it's, if I want to take care of my own kids, I'll give my money to so-and-so. They will hold it. They'll take care of the kids. They'll make sure that nothing happens to them. But if you do it just via a will, if you just give the money to someone, it becomes their money. And whether they have great intentions or not, there can be disastrous results. Okay, so not to be sort of a bummer, but that's the truth. So if you're thinking about doing that kind of stuff, um, please consider this. Think about a revocable trust. Um, if you decide it's not for you, that's fine. But, you know, it's important to have all the information in front of you. All right, that is it. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And if you have specific questions related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us, then you can go to estatemeeting.com.
gmail.com. Set up a time to talk with us over the phone or uh, over the phone only. Coronavirus for free. Estatemeeting.com. All right, that is it. I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon.